Let's take a look at this problem taken from the 2012 Korea Junior Mathematical Olympiad. It says, find all natural numbers L, M, and N such that 5 to the L times 43 to the M plus 1 equals N cubed. We notice that the left-hand side consists of prime powers. So if they can equal to some factorizable expressions, then we are good, as there will be very few factoring cases. So I move the 1 to the right-hand side, and it says 5 to the L, 43 to the M, equals N cubed minus 1. Now, after factorizing, we have A minus 1 times N squared plus N plus 1. I tend to move the uh, factorized expression to the left-hand side instead, so we switch sides. Then it equals 5 to the L times 43 to the M. The next question is whether A minus 1 and n squared plus n plus 1 can both have factors of 5 or both have factors of 43. Whenever we come across to this kind of question, we may take a look at the GCD. Okay, the greatest common divisor of the two expressions. Even if they are not numbers, we may still run the Euclidean algorithm aiming to reduce the degree of the polynomials. So note that the GCD of this school two can be written in this way and we observe that a minus one times n plus two is n squared plus n minus two okay or in fact if you do, cannot notice this you may simply do a long division n squared plus n plus one divided by a minus one and you will get n here n squared minus n 2n as remainder plus one and then divide again you'll get plus two so 2n minus two and you'll get three as the remainder so you can rewrite GCD in this way. And so by definition, it becomes the GCD of A minus 1 and 3. So GCD can only have two possible values here, either 1 or 3. So we know that A minus 1 and N squared plus N plus 1 cannot both have factors of 5 or both are factors of 43. So the prime factors will split very clearly between those two expressions. So we only have four cases. The first one is that a minus 1 will not take any prime factor and n squared plus n plus 1 will take all of them. Or the other way around, a minus 1 taking all of the prime factors while n squared plus n plus 1 is just 1. Or the other two cases is that n minus 1 will take all the prime factors of 5, while n squared plus n plus 1 will take all factors of 43. And finally, again the other way around, n minus 1 taking all the factors of 43, and n squared plus n plus 1 will take all factors of 5. So let's take a look at the first two cases. When one of the terms, one of the expressions will not take any prime factor. So for the first case, n is 2 and so n squared plus n plus 1 is 7. But obviously 7 is not the product of any prime power of 5 and prime power of 43 okay so it's a contradiction here and no solution well for the second case n squared plus n plus 1 is 1 and so n squared plus n is 0 so we factorize and solve for it we will have n equals 0 or minus 1 but bear in mind that we are looking at natural numbers. So natural number starts from 1. 
and so we have no solution again. Now for the third case, suppose that n squared plus n plus 1 is a part of 5. So in particular, because a was a natural number, so we have n squared plus n plus 1 is congruent to 0 mod 5. The expression we have is quadratic. So the most convenient thing that we can do is to make perfect squares. And I will go for multiplying by 4. Two things that you have to bear in mind is that when we're doing congruences, modular arithmetic, we do not consider fractions, okay? It's very ugly and inconvenient for us. So I would multiply by 4, so to avoid any fractional expressions. And because we're taking mod 5, so we do not have to worry about um, the co-prime or anything related to that because I'm just multiplying by 4. So then I can safely complete squares and I will have 2n plus 1 whole squared plus 3 equals 0 mod 5. And simplify, we have 2n plus 1 whole squared congruent to 2 mod 5. However, notice that for all net integers a, just call it a, square numbers must only be 0, 1, or 4, mod 5. In fact, you can check this yourself. 0 squared is 0, 1 squared is 1, 2 squared is 4, 3 squared is 9 congruent to 4, mod 5, 4 squared is 16 congruent to 1, mod 5, and so you can see we only have 0, 1, or 4, mod 5, and we cannot have 2 in particular. So there is no solution. For this case again. So the only possible solution we can find is from case 4. Okay, is that a minus 1 is a power of 5, and then n squared plus m plus 1 is a power of 43. Before we move on, let's try to predict what we can get at the very end. We know there's a, an obvious solution, which is that L equals 1 and M equals 1. So left-hand side will be 5 times 43 plus 1, which is 200, 216, which is 6 cubed. So N is 6, okay? This is one solution. After finding this solution, a very natural question comes up. What happens when L or M is at least 2? So let's assume that if L is at least 2, then looking at the structure of the system we have is that n minus 1 is a power of 5, and the index we now know is at least 2. So we can say that a minus 1 is a multiple of 25. So we say it's congruent to 0 mod 25. And so n is congruent to 1 mod 25. Then we put this into the other equation, then we will have n squared plus n plus 1 is congruent to 1 squared plus 1 plus 1 mod 25, which is congruent to 3 mod 25. Here comes the magic. Powers of 43 have a very short pattern when we take mod 25. So note that forty three to the two, okay, we know the sequence is one and the next one is forty three. Now we look at forty three squared is equal to one thousand eight hundred and forty nine and this it has remained uh, twenty four or you may say congruent to minus one mod 25, okay, remainder is 24 when divided by 25, and so it's congruent to minus 1 mod 25, so the next one is minus 1, and so we know that the following two terms should be 
minus 43 as in 43 cubed is congruent to minus 43 mod 25 and then finally for part 4 we have 1 mod 25 okay so 43 to the power m must be an element of 1 43 minus 1 or minus 43 mod 25 so from this pattern we can tell all possible values of powers of 43 mod 25 and in particular this sequence this pattern does not contain 3 at any point so there's a mistake and the mistake is clearly from our assumption is that L is at least 2 okay so again we have contradiction okay it comes from here and so we know L must be 1. Now we know L is 1, so N is 6, because we can put this into this equation. And so we know that N squared plus N plus 1 is 43, and so M is again 1. So the solution that we have shown just now, 1, 1, 6, is the only solution. And we've checked already, both sides will then be 260. So I hope you enjoy the tricks used in this problem. And let's stop here. I hope you enjoyed the video. Feel free to suggest any alternative methods in the comments. If you like my videos, make sure to subscribe to my channel right now by clicking on the subscribe button. Thank you for your support. See you next time.